Welcome back to the Janku GIMP tutorial series. My name is Jim and today we're going to take a look at changing this photograph into this pencil drawing in GIMP 210. We're going to cover the following tools, hue saturation, blend modes, inverting colors, Gaussian blur filters, density levels, and even manual fixes using the paintbrush and the eraser tool. So let's just hop right in and take a look at how to accomplish this. Okay, so now we're over here in GIMP 210. Before we get started in the program though, I'm actually just going to flip over to Firefox. And essentially what we're doing in this tutorial is we're recreating this Photoshop tutorial where they convert this photo into a pencil drawing. So if you use Photoshop, this is a great tutorial. Definitely take a look at it. Unfortunately, we don't have access to this exact photo here. So instead, I'm just going to unsplash.com and I'm grabbing this photo of this girl. I'm going to use that instead. So I'm going to click download and let's give the photographer credit. So thank you, Roberto. This is an excellent photograph. And then I'm going to save the file. And then in here, I'm just going to grab this and drag this into GIMP. So it asked me to convert the color profile. I'm going to say convert, that's fine. And now I'm going to start by actually just changing this photograph into a black and white photograph. One of the easiest ways you can do that is if you just go to your colors panel here and you choose the saturation and you pull this all the way down to zero, it will convert this into a black and white photo. And you can split the preview if you want to see what it looked like before with the color. But I'm just going to unsplit and I'm going to say OK. And now what I'm going to do here, this is kind of an important step. I'm going to just right click on the layer here. So I have my layers dialog open in the right hand side. I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate the layers. I currently have this new duplicate layer here selected and above it you can see that I'm using the normal mode. If I click this I can come in here and it can actually choose dodge and that's going to kind of change this color palette a little bit so the whites are kind of heightened and they're separated from the blacks a little bit. So, so now we have our dodge mode applied to the photo and if I zoom in here you can see that a little bit. So it's already starting to kind of look like a drawing although it still kind of looks a lot like a photograph. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to go up to our colors and we're going to invert the colors of this layer. So it will look like a white screen after you do that but if we go to our filters now and we apply a blur filter we're going to use the Gaussian blur we can come here and make sure these are linked here. You can start pulling up the size here and you should see a live preview over here on the right hand side. Sometimes it's a little delayed to actually see it come through. But as you start pulling this up, this looks a lot like a pencil drawing and the, the farther you pull it, the darker the black color is going to be coming through. So you can really get kind of a defined picture here. And this, I think, you know, it looks pretty good on, on this edge when you go farther down to the right. Although the more detail I give that by the, the dark colors there, the more it still kind of looks like a photograph to me. So I kind of prefer to, to pull it way down here on the lower end, somewhere around, I don't know, 35% maybe. You can type that in directly if you want. And that really looks like a, a drawing to me. It is a little hard to distinguish with like the, the white background kind of bleeding into the lighter parts of the, the photograph, like her, her face and neck area. But um, I think this is the closest representation we have to an actual uh, pencil drawing. So let's say OK to this. So now we could come through here and we could start playing with some of the density levels if we wanted to. With my photograph selected, you could go to your colors, levels, and you could start pulling this over to the right to make some of these features a little darker. So I kind of like the grays kind of coming in a little bit on some of this. I think that's a little too dark, but it looks, again, more like a pencil drawing to me when we do that. So you can play with those levels a little bit. I'd make it look a little bit closer to a pencil drawing. I'm going to say OK. And then, essentially, there might be some places that still are a little dark. So, for instance, these sections here around the edges, I, I think, are a little dark around the edges of the shirt. So we could come in here and we could actually draw over some of this. So I'm just going to select my paintbrush tool and then I'm going to turn the hardness all the way down to zero on the paintbrush. And I'm going to put the opacity at 40. And then, you know, you could come here and you could actually just draw over these sections to lighten them up a little bit. So I'm just kind of drawing a little bit of white over these dark sections to make them a little lighter. 
and so I have my white at my on my foreground. That's what's selected right now. And you can come through and adjust a lot of these sections, lighten them up a little bit. Maybe even get some of the, the hair a little bit to, to lighten some of that up as well. Okay, and then if you want to get rid of some of this background um, noise, you could come in here and you could actually you know turn the hardness of your brush all the way up again, turn the opacity all up, and you could draw over with white over this. And you can clean up the edges a lot by doing that. You could come through and do it all around the image if you wanted to. Again, you might want to choose a different brush and update the size and come down and just get, get rid of a lot of this real quick. And then maybe, you know, this stuff up here, you could just crop out completely so you could grab your crop tool and you could just crop around the image that you're interested in. And there you go. So you could spend a little more time cleaning up some of the details, but essentially this will get you a pencil drawing and you could use this on any kind of photograph. This technique should work on any photograph and uh, have fun converting your loved one's photographs into pencil drawings and uh, impressing people with your fine pencil work. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more GIMP tutorials in the near future, and I'll see you next time.